Hey, New Hope Kids. Welcome to New Hope Kids Online. My name is Miss Brooke, and if you are first, second, third, fourth, or fifth grade, then you are in the right place because you are my New Hope Ninjas and my New Hope Knights. And I'm really glad you're here today. So this month in May, we are talking about legacy. Now, have you guys ever heard that word legacy? Well, what a legacy is, is actually something that is handed down from the past. For instance, um, someone's legacy might be that they were really kind to animals. That means it's something that people are going to remember them for, and maybe they'll want to be like that too. It's something that's handed down. And we're going to learn this month about how Jesus left us a legacy, and that legacy is the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit sounds kind of weird and mysterious, but actually it's not at all because the Holy Spirit is part of God. And when we learn more about him and why he's here, we start to understand that the Holy Spirit helps us to want to know God better. The Holy Spirit um, helps us to love everyone. The Holy Spirit helps us to do God's work. The Holy Spirit is for everybody in the whole world. And the Holy Spirit helps us to love God's family. So that's what we're gonna be talking about this month in Legacy. So uh, before we go any farther, let's take a look and see what Carl has to say about legacy and the Holy Spirit this week. Hi there, you little chicken nuggets. Hey, it's me, Carl, <laughs> and welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV, hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends. Talk about Jesus and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi, y'all! Thank you so much for tuning in today. I got great uh, great news for y'all, and I got bad news. Bad, bad news. Bad news is this is week four of our Legacy series. But the good news is that means it's time for our week four fantastic fun facts. Week four fantastic fun facts is a segment where we like to talk about fun facts on week four. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Still can't hear you. That's okay. Fun fact number one. Do you know that it's impossible to hum while plugging your nose? Seriously, it's impossible. Try it. Isn't that crazy? Mm. Hopefully you'll never have to enter a humming contest underwater, am I right? <laughs> fun fact number two. A bolt of lightning has enough electricity to toast 100,000 pieces of bread. <laughs> wow. That fun fact is shocking. I know it may not be the safest, but man, if you need a lot of toast quick, that's the route to go. Fun fact number three. You can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from over two miles away. Let's see if there's any nearby. Boop! <laughs> gotcha, sorry. All right, fantastic fun fact number four. The largest snowflake ever was 15 centimeters wide. Wow, <laughs> that's not that big. Hey, TJ! What's going on, Carl, man? It's so good to see you, bro. What you up to these days? Oh, well, you know, it's the fourth week of the series. Did I miss fun fact time? Not quite. We just said our last fact. And to be honest, it was not that fun. Well, wh wh what was it? The largest snowflake in the world was 15 centimeters wide. Oh, well, well, that's not true anyway. What are you talking about? Go ahead and read it again. Huh. Whoa, you're right. My bad, y'all. The largest snowflake ever recorded was 15 inches wide. Holy smokes, that's huge. <laughs> it sure is. Could you imagine being in a snowstorm and the snowflakes are this wide? <laughs> that would be terrifying, but exciting. <laughs> but you know what, Carl? If you like that, you definitely are gonna like today's story. Man, it's wild. I can't wait, where's the story at? It's in Acts chapter two. Okay, wait, is that the Pentecost? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Oh, I love this story. It starts off where all the disciples were gathered and then a loud sound like a wind came from heaven. Yep, and then the Holy Spirit filled the whole room. And then he began to fill each disciple with himself. And then, wait, is this the first time the disciples had the Holy Spirit with them? It was. And that's one of the reasons why this story was so special. <laughs> oh yeah. And once they were filled with the Holy Spirit, they started speaking in different languages. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? It totally is. You see, the Holy Spirit is crazy powerful and helps us do amazing things. Do you remember what happened next? How could I forget? 
Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, I think I might have forgotten. <laughs> it's all right, man. With a loud sound that came from heaven, it was so loud that people from all over were wondering what was going on. So they came and gathered with the disciples? Yeah. And these were people from everywhere, all different types of countries. So you know they were speaking all types of languages. But they heard the disciples speaking in their own language. Everyone did? So they were all able to understand what was being said? Yes, sir. It was so cool. I bet. So what was being said? Well, Peter had begun sharing the message of Jesus Christ with everyone. And people were blown away by everything that had happened. Then... Around 3,000 people gave their lives to Jesus, was baptized, and filled with the Holy Spirit that day. On that day? Yep. It was one of the greatest days ever. Oh, well, that's a big bummer. What? What are you talking about, man? This is, this is good news. How? The disciples got the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 3,000 other people's got the Holy Spirit? Yeah. And that all happened on just Pentecost? Of course. Well, newsflash, DJ, I wasn't there. So... So? So that means I don't get the Holy Spirit. I missed out. I'm always a day late and a dog collar short. It's a, do it's a dollar short? Don't start with me, TJ. I'm going through something. Just relax. You're okay, man. Listen, that day was just the beginning. It was the beginning of something huge. What? What did it mean? It meant that from then on, salvation, grace, unconditional love, and the Holy Spirit are all gifts that everyone can receive. Seriously? Of course. That's what's awesome about God. The Holy Spirit is for everyone. Oh, TJ, that is good news because guess what? That is our big idea. <laughs> yeah. Today's big idea is the Holy Spirit is for everyone. So let's say it out loud on the count of three then. One, two, three. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit is for is everyone. For everyone. Yeah. Good job, everyone. Let me tell you what, TJ. I am so relieved to find out that the Holy Spirit is for everyone. Me too, man. Man, listen, it's awesome. Oh, look. Looks like we have one more uh, fun fact. No way. Guess what? What? Chicken butt. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> See you next week, kiddos. <laughs> DJ. I don't think right. you can say butt on and here. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. All right. So, you know, we have a new memory verse this month and it is Romans 8. 14 and it goes like this it's easy when you guys are going to get this easy for those who are led by the spirit of god are the children of god so all that saying is that for those of us that follow god's spirit the holy spirit we are a part of his family we are children of god so let's say that together romans 8 14 for those who are led, so those, we're just going to kind of point out there, all you people out there, for those who are led, put your fingers like this and just move out. For those who are led by the Spirit of God, Holy Spirit is like this, put your fingers like that and like that. Okay, so for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. And for children, we just kind of pretend we're patting children on the head. Okay. So let's say one more time together. All right. Romans 8, 14. For those who are led by the spirit of God are the children of God. All right, guys, that's our memory verse for this month. I will see you next week for more New Hope Kids Online. Don't miss out. It's going to be great. And I hope you have a great week. Bye.